You guys won't believe. I mined 64 blocks of diamonds. Oh my god. Fake Minecraft 100 days challenge videos are absolutely funny. Because they are bad at hiding their mining off camera. Enjoy the video. Okay, so far so good. Shopping wood, totally normal. Then he makes a wooden pickaxe and instead of mining stone, he starts to mine iron. Bruh. And does it Bruh. again. He finally makes a stone pickaxe and starts to mine iron ore and some more iron and more. It seems kinda sus that the guy who was mining iron with a wooden pickaxe suddenly starts to find so much iron. On day 2, he just wanders in a cave and then finds an axolotl. And the next thing he does is so random. He catches the axolotl in a bucket and then just starts killing it. Yeah, I know it's it's messed up. On day 3, he just randomly teleports in a village, which is totally normal. Then he starts to kill the golem. I don't know for what, because he already has a lot of iron. You might have noticed that his inventory has changed. Did the golem kill him? Absolutely not. The wind just took away his levels. Then he claims that he mined till day 10 to find diamonds. We know that this guy is playing on 1.17 or maybe 1.18 so I don't think he found any diamonds cause I don't see any deep slate nearby. Like I said, he didn't find any diamonds. And now he's gonna mine for another 10 days on the correct bar level. On day 21, he claims that he mined Bruh. a stack of diamond blocks, which is definitely not fake. And then instead of making full diamond armor and tools, he just becomes homicidal and starts to kill every villager in the village. And then I don't know for what reason he traveled for the next 9 days just to find goats. Then he decides to make some diamond tools and then this happens. While doing this, a goat hits him and then he just starts to kill all of them. Then I think in rage he just burnt all of his pickaxes and then most of his Bruh. diamonds. Then until day 40 he just strolled around the mountains and camped on his diamond podium kind of thing. How productive. Now the dream speedrunning music is playing in the background and then he's just struggling to make another portal. And now he's just super confused and doesn't know what to do next. Then the clip just cuts and now he's in the nether. Wow. As soon as he enters, a blaze attacks him and then he tries to place a water bucket. I think you guys noticed that his armor was enchanted and he has an anvil in his inventory. Maybe he just grinded for a while off camera. I think this guy is super lucky cause finding a nether fortress in front of the nether portal is definitely not pulled off in creative. Then he hops around for a bit and finally enters the fortress. Then he starts to kill blazes to obtain blaze rods which is normal. Then while fighting the blazes, a skeleton accidentally shoots a blaze. Then he just sits back and just enjoys the fight. Finally the skeleton wins and then he just kills the skeleton. Then there's a noticeable cut and his tools and weapons are also enchanted now. And he has 64 blaze rods and all the ender pearls he needs. After struggling for quite a bit, he finally makes eyes of ender. While escaping the fortress, for absolutely no reason, he just kills a zombie huh? penguin. I don't know this guy knows what's gonna happen next. He then gets yeeted out of the fortress by the magma cubes, but he doesn't take any damage because his armor is literally enchanted with protection 4. He then teleports back to the overworld and just kills a pig. How productive. He tries to find the stronghold all night and he just teleported in a village. Great. Then he murders a villager and sleeps in the bed. And there's an obvious blur right there. But this guy is terrible at blurring things because we still can see the coordinates of the stronghold I guess. Now the clip cuts and now we are on day 69 and he said he's collecting potions for fighting the ender dragon. While he was showcasing all his potions, I noticed something. He got potion of luck and as per my knowledge, it can be obtained only in creative mode. So yeah, and also he has like a stack of enchanted golden apples which is definitely not obtained from creative mode. And he also has a stack of netherite ingots. He must have mined off camera. 
Then he upgrades all of his stuff to netherite armor and netherite weapons. He again starts to find the stronghold and conveniently it's right beneath him. He starts to dig straight down which is not recommended in Minecraft. Then there's an obvious cut and now he's directly in the portal room. He then lights up the portal and enters. He then starts to destroy all the end crystals but watch what happens now. He enters an end crystal and yeah that's blurred. I, you know why that's blurred. I guess there were some technical difficulties and now he's back again fighting the ender dragon and all the crystals are destroyed. And then again the clip cuts and he delivers the final punch to the dragon. Then he goes crazy and the clip cuts into eternal darkness. So I'm gonna guess day 69 was the end of this video. So if you enjoyed consider subscribing and there's definitely going to be more videos like this.